Hi there everybody. So on today's video I have this uh, Chrysler PT Cruiser and uh, I'm going to be changing the uh, front right wheel speed sensor um, or ABS sensor uh, because the um, ABS light came on and also the traction control light came on. Now um, after having a look with the uh, computer uh, the OBD computer, um, this sensor. So I've taken the wheel off already, and the sensor we're looking for is this one here, which is uh, just sitting there, and um, it basically reads on this uh, ring here. That's how it measures the speed. So checking with the computer um, you can see the uh, the four wheel speed sensors and uh, this particular one wasn't working and also it was showing the fault code for this for this side uh, but obviously just to make sure the sensor was faulty I checked it um, with the OBD So what I'm going to be doing now is uh, I'm going to remove it and replace it. This is a 2002 Cruiser. Okay, that may give us a slightly better view there. That's the sensor. I already have my tool there. That is a 10 mil, 10 mil bolt, uh, and I put some um, WD-40 because it's all uh, a little bit corroded there. So um, hopefully that will <coughs> come out. I left that soaking for about 10 minutes, to be honest. Okay, so that's the sensor there. So we just need to remove it from there. And I think this plate is probably just a little cover to protect it from uh, from dust and water and things that come from this end, this side. Uh, now we just need to uh, follow the the cable through and up to the uh, the point where it's plugged in. We basically just need to uh, remove it from uh, from these mounts here, and it's mounted uh, up there as well. Okay, now um, I have the car up on the on the ramp, so I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more. So we can try to see where that plugs into. 
Somewhere up there. Okay, yeah, um, we can actually see where this is uh, plugged in. A bit easier from this end. It's plugged in up there basically. Um, I don't know which is the easiest way to see this, but it's the one on the left there. So it's um, got a cable tie around it, may have to cut that out, and then uh, we need to um, get that little red clip up so we can disconnect it so I'm not sure I'll be able to film all of that but uh, I'll give it a try Okay, so what I've done is I, I cut the cable tight to be able to um, get the sensor out. So the sensor is, is a bit, it's loose now here. And uh, what we need to do is uh, get that little red tag released so we can uh, remove the 
disconnect the uh, sensor here okay that's uh, just moved a little bit I might be able to release this uh, sensor now or not Okay, so basically, we need to get the um, if we can see the sensor here. Once you get this little red tag back up a bit, then you can um, move that bit in inside of this uh, connector. If you move it to one side, then you will be able to release uh, this this cable. Now we can pull that cable out from the other side. Okay, that's the uh, that's the head of the sensor. So it's plugged in. It's holding on by this bit here. So you need to get the little red tag up, and then you're able to release the little um, flap that is on top of this. Um, and then this comes out. It's, it's in between uh, one of the brake pipes. So you just have to pull the brake pipe out very slightly because you don't want to damage it and then this will come out through there right now it's just a matter of getting our new uh, new sensor and refitting it so refitting will be just a reversal of removal um, I realized that in some cases there's no really point f filming all of that because it's just plugging in the sensor and then screwing it back on the um, area of the disc where it came off. So I hope this video helps and um, thanks for watching.